Stereotactic radiosurgery is a major change in the way radiation therapy has been delivered. Instead of using radiation therapy to a large area and hoping that the lesion that you're radiating is more sensitive to radiation than the surrounding tissue, stereotactic radiosurgery uses anatomy. What you can do is take the high resolution images that we produce on a routine basis and focus the radiation very precisely on the target so that the radiation is delivered only to the target, has maximum effect on the target, and yet spares the surrounding tissue. This allows us to treat a whole variety of lesions that were not previously sensitive to radiation therapy. Stereotactic radiosurgery is obviously imaging dependent. We have to get the best possible images to see the lesion and also to see any other structures nearby which we would want to avoid. So therefore that usually encompasses an MRI and a CT scan. These are then fused to each other so that we have a data set that comprises both characteristics. Some instances we will also get what's called tractography. We can actually see the paths of fibers within the brain and put that into the fused data set. And then we come up with a dose plan where we can actually taper the dose so that the dose is highest right on the lesion and spares any surrounding tissue which may be critical and that we would want to avoid any radiation being delivered to. In the planning process, it's just plain imaging and things. The things that we worry about after giving stereotactic ray surgery can be scarring. There's something called radiation necrosis where the tissue responds uh, by forming like a little scar tissue. They're very similar to like keloids that people sometimes see on burns when they burn their skin. Uh, those lesions usually go away spontaneously, but they have to be watched pretty closely to make certain they don't get too big and cause any pressure effects or anything like that. Other than that, the technique is well tolerated and there's relatively few side effects. Stereotactic ray surgery was actually brought here to the St. Louis region many years ago by myself. We actually modified the first linear accelerator well, back 20 years or so in order to get this technique here in the St. Louis area. We have been watching people for that entire two decades uh, following radiosurgery. The benefits are really remarkable. It allows us to non-invasively treat a whole variety of tumors, both benign and malignant, and vascular lesions as well. Uh, and we have watched these people over 20 years and they have done quite well. There are instances where other tumors can pop up. There are other instances, very rarely, in which the tumor can grow back in spite of stereotactic radiosurgery. But even in those instances, we can go and repeat our dose of radiation to the recurrence and get the tumor under control. So it seems to be uh, an extremely important uh, technique uh, for the management of both spinal and uh, brain tumor. Uh, the major thing is to not expect anything quickly. Uh, radiosurgery is not like surgery, in which you have your operation, the tumor is there, and then the next day the tumor is gone. Radiosurgery has its effect over a much longer period of time. And so patience is really a key issue. Uh, you want to give the technique at least six months to a year uh, to see what the benefit is and to make certain that uh, uh, further growth is controlled.